Welcome back, especially my dear patrons. Today we have one of your bows you requested. Uh, a vote before the last voting, I think. Alibo, the Tan Chan An number two. So Alibo was so kind and sent it to me. String, sleeve, and the bow. So freshly unpacked. You can have this one now in takedown if you want. And with an arrow pass, they say. Oh, this is just... So, what's new? We have a carbon core and they have now slightly trapezoid uh, limb shape here which gives more ooh, yeah, twist resistance. Very nice. From Alibo, the Tang Chang An Tu, or former known as Xi An. It's Tang Dynasty bow, it's a laminated bow. Has a strong 62 inches, the string is 60.6 inches, has a brace head of roughly 7.5 inches. You can have this bow from 20 to 45 pounds, the takedown version only to 35 pounds. The max draw up to 40 pounds is 40 pounds at 28 is 35 inches and more than 40 pounds is 33 inches. Pretty. So you have your arrow inlay here on both sides. A nice handle. I mean, this is the tongue chest, it's just a nice bow, right? So then what can you have? Carbon core, I told you, you can have an arrow pass. So you need to tell them then if you want to have it on the right or on the left side, so more precisely to shoot then. And you can have this in a variety of colors in clear, which I like, in black, in blue, in light blue, in pink, in cinnabar red. <laughs> Just awesome. I like this. And the price of this pretty bow is $500, from $500 upwards. But, you know, let's see. The own measurements for my patrons. Now for all of you. But one of my patrons will get this bow. 66 and a half. Let's give it 66. Nice. We have a quite a narrow arrow pass. I like that. Twenty? Mm, yeah, exactly twenty. Awesome. And we get a string. It's a little windy today, so we need to be careful. Shut up. So, nice string. String looks almost the same. So, we use the, 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 the new version of the step through method, you know, where you put it on top, you hold it in place, you step through, you put the lower limb, you see it, you don't see it. Put the lower limb above your kneecap. The handle points out a little. And then you, oh, you, do a bit. you squat down a little bit. So this was easy. That was easy. Oh, look at this bow. Such a pretty bow. So brace height is supposed to have roughly around seven and a half. And we are at seven and three quarters, but I guess we shoot two, three times. Oh, then we have this bow means business. There is, you hear it, but you almost don't feel it. A little bit in the handle, but not much. Holy moly. Let's check quickly, otherwise I forget to measure the weight again. 610. It's a lot of bow. So this one has now 36 at 28 and 49 at 35. 49 at 35. Patrons, huh? You lucky guys, you. Oh, yeah, 28 is nice. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Oh, further I can't go with three fingers. Oh, yeah. So you get Manchu-esque draw length without having the Manchu kick and with a very smooth draw. 
it's builds up a bit more than the Manchu, you know, when Manchu seers kick in, it doesn't feel like you draw it anymore, but, oh, oh. so let's see. In this direction, yeah, almost wiggly, and in this direction, yeah, it's okay resistant. So I don't recall now the first version, but this one is okay for the shape and for the design is the torque resistance is okay. What shall we do with it? Exactly. Did I mention 10 gram per pound arrow weight? Not like a Manchu bow, 12, 13, 14, 15, up to 20. Uh, we are at 49 pounds at full draw. These arrows are 34 inches, 34 and a half, a little too short, but they are for 510 grains. So weight wise, they would be just on the safe side. And of course I find it adequate to shoot with this. I forgot the name now. I did a video about this brilliant ring. Let's see what we get with shallow hook here. So 34 inches, oh, a bit loud. No problem. <laughs> this is Jesus Christ. So even if you only draw 34 inches, you need something long draw and you don't like the knocker and you don't like a Manchu. You know where to go. So feels almost too lightweight. So I have these ones, they are 460. I shoot now one but the 510 already feel a little lightweight. Ah, now that knock is going on. <laughs> At least I see now where I have to shoot. And these ones are the Manju arrows from Fairborn, Netherlands. They are 36 and a half and 580 grains. So they should be a little heavier then. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, did you even see me? I think I went out of the frame. <coughs> this is when you do everything by yourself. Holy cow. Yep. Feels good. It's a little out the bow. But hey. Whoop. These knocks are a little wide for the surfing here. So all the center surfing is a little too thin. Holy. Moly, is this a beast? So, the light ones on, we don't shoot anymore. Dang it. So, the short one, 34 inches, feels just nice. And it's easy achievable for most of you. Ui, too low. I think that was the ring, huh? Not used to this ring. You need to practice. Shallow hook. There, oh. Left. Maybe spine, huh? Yeah, these two color are a little underspined. Yeah, but they go there. They're a little stiffer here. Mind your ones. Oh, yeah, see, they go to the right. Yep. So this bow needs a little, and especially the right arrows with it. So if you get it, ooh, look at the target. Get directly matching arrows with it. Oh, what a workout. But, so these Tokala, they are 500 spine. They are of course a little underspined for the length of the draw, but the weight is nice. And I think 34 inches is just fine. And you have still one inch of reserve back there. Shall we, shall we put some manchu stands on it? Huh? This, is, this is really lovely. So let's draw a little longer. Oh, wow. So now the ring starts hurting. I'm really not used to this ring. everything up. Oh, it's a little too heavy today for me. I 
but you can do a little bit, but you don't need a lot here. A little torque or something. So um, groups are not there yet, but we can. Switch now to leather. Let's see quickly what we get here. So they are 34 inches, so we don't have 50 pounds on the string then. So maybe 47 or something. Sixty-nine. Almost a little too close here. Huh? Holy, hundred sixty-one. That penetration is really devastating. Hundred sixty-six, and they are. What did I say? Five hundred eighty at forty-nine pounds. So this last inch makes a difference. Huh? 175. Awesome. Ah, and the group, 179. <laughs> the curves of the bow. You can see the sun is still a little high. Oh, I could show you now, it's a center shot on 20 meters. Ah, it bow needs distance. Or I need distance. The problem is always behind the string, they say. That was a little low on purpose because. Otherwise, my target will skip. So, another long ones. Whee! Target still shaking. This <laughs> is nice. Whee! 100. Awesome. Not there yet with the accuracy, but we get there. <laughs> I shoot a little shorter distance because the light here is better, but that you see the curve of the bow with the long arrow. Look at this. Shoulder, shoulder. <laughs> I killed the target. Let's kill the elk. But these arrows penetrate. Holy moly. Dang it. The joy of long draw purified with speed compared to, you know, compared to Manchu bow. This one is speed. And for all you guys who want to order one, your first order with Ali bow, get directly matching arrows with it and use a voucher code Armin10 and you get 10% off with $500. It's already 50 bucks. Almost shipping cost. And oh, too many apple, apple. So let's see the long draw. Oh, it's awesome. This bow is just awesome. So carbon works. Oh, it's uh, too low. I felt that one. Overthinking, eh? Uh, let's do a little torque. Huh? A little torque. We oui, look at this. It goes directly higher. So now we shoot the light ones, a bit shorter. Now 34, Ooh, sorry, dragonfly. Now 34 doesn't feel like anymore. It needs to be 35. Oui, you see that? This is how you break your arrows. Yeah, get there. So you need a little focus with this one. It's maybe not your first bow, but oh, what a bow.
you focus a little on your form and this thing just works. Torba training, a little too far away for Torba, but it's fine. I can do it from here too. Dang! <laughs> try to show you just right now was first of all you still have this layer of syntactic foam in it which gives a bit more lightweight uh, less weight to the sears and then you see above it directly this black layer this is the carbon it's stability it's a little springiness i would say and then you have i'm not sure if you can see this here slightly trapezoid and we know this other bow builders did that too of course it works. Let's see if you can see this, that they are slightly on the back. The limb is a little more narrow than on the belly. So you have here a slightly angle, smooth. Okay, so what can I say, dear patrons? Ho ho, look out for this one. That's an awesome bow. So in this here, it's a little, you know, but it, I think the old one was too, but it doesn't bother me here because that means it draws smooth and this bow draws extremely smooth after the few first shots the noise disappeared so this bow is now not that loud anymore it's just 500 dollars worth invested i would say but hey that's me it's not that i only had two or three bows in the hand. Packaging, bow string sleeve, four points. Soon we get the new rating system. The handling of this bow, stringing is now not so easy, So, but there is a video directly on the website where you check how to string this bow safely. You can use the step through method where you hold the bow upside like I showed you, or the best is you order directly a stringer with it and use a stringer and string it with this one, then it's you don't twist the bow at all. So you need to be a little careful. So for the handling, I give you nine because it really takes a little care, even if there's carbon in it. And, but this bow is straight, look at this. This bow is just straight. Uh, even if there's carbon in it, um, you need to be a bit careful. So it's not your first bow and you need to know what you're doing. For the build, it's just the flawless Ali bow. What can I say? It's just for me a little too shiny, but this is how Alibo makes the bows. Handle is nice, arrow pass, everything, these two inlays on both sides so they don't save. They put it on both sides. This is just, and then with this syntactic foam and the, and, and the carbon layer, it's, 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 it's 10. And the basic feel gets 10 directly because this bow just feels right in your hand. It has a little oomph to it, so you feel when you move it, but of course it's a little long and has just quite long sears, but this is just, you feel that this bow gets things done instantly, so there is no discussion, no, let's see, this bow does job. That's why for me, basic feel 10. Draw experience, let's see again. Oh, you, you, now I put the glove away. Oi, windy again. So here, <laughs> yes, almost, look at this. Not, not a quarter of an inch, maybe, but then it starts already. So there's tension in this bow. Then you have 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So there's no, from 34 to 35, you feel it a little that you reach the end, but it's nothing which bothers you so you can draw this bow nice 35 inches as long as you get under 40 pounds or up to 40 pounds. Draw curve goes up obviously a little but it's smooth 10 and the shooting experience 
it takes a few shots, but this bow is then, I saw it now after whatever 20 shots I made, the bow is predictable and you know what this bow is doing. You only need the right arrows with the right spine and the right length and the right weight and then everything is just buttery smooth. You need a few shots that you know what this bow is doing and then this bow is just doing its job. Awesome. 10 for the shooting experience. Price value, so we raised up a little. In my good old times, I remember that these bows were 350 and then they were 400 and then who 450. Now it's 500, but I understand everything gets more expensive. So this is just what we have to deal with due to circumstances we cannot control. But everything gets more expensive. The glass, the glue, the labor, the everything gets more expensive. So, and I think $500 for a performing bow like this is okay. So I give it a five. Oh, what do we have? Total 30, 40, 49, 53. Mostly due to the packaging. So for me, a five out of five because this bow is uh, worth it. $500. When you see there, first of all, there is not much out there in the same draw length category, which is as stiff as this one and as pleasant to shoot. Of course, you have from AF a few bows, which are comparable. I don't have one here anymore, so I can't tell, can't do a comparison. But it's just your personal liking then. But this one, the handle is very solid, so you don't feel anything in the handle. And these vibrations, there is this. One, two, three, four, five, I think. So, and then it's, it's a little in the hand and then it's gone, but it's not really handjog or something so this bow is extremely well balanced built and of course it doesn't have no string bridges which acts like you know but you, you can hear it there's not it's a little bit you know but it's gone in a second awesome bow I have to say so patrons watch out for this one you get a question and then in the shootout we will see who will get this nice bow. Thank you very much Alipo for sending this bow to me and for doing what you're doing. You always push the envelope a little further so now we have carbon here in and syntactic form and it feels like it makes sense. So this bow feels solid like a one piece. There is no, you know, this just feels great. So and that's why $500 fine by me. Thank you, Sangli. That's all I have for you today. Subscribe, comment, uh, share, like if you like. If you don't like, click twice like button. And for the rest, thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.